So what I'm going to review today is the Sala Digital Professional Line Photo Album. Sala Digital is a company specialized in digital printing and to give you a little bit of context, during my college years I worked in a company very much like that. So my opinion will not be only on, in terms of you know how good my photos turned out when printed but also on the quality of the paper, why I chose a specific type of paper instead of another and so on and so forth. Mamma mia! Mamma mia guys and welcome back to another video. So I am Ricardo aka the Metaheta and today is a review. But before we jump into that and I want to stress this out, the product that I'm going to review was sent to me for free but the company is not paying me for this review. I'm not receiving money and they had no editorial power on this, okay? They have not seen this video, they will see it when you see it when it comes out. Um, this is because I want to stress it out, this is an unbiased review. But with that said, let's jump into it. I got this book basically, I was offered a free coupon for the full value of it, of the product which is around a hundred bucks, I would say, depending on how many pages you want in there. This is not the only Sal Digital Professional Online photo album that I've seen. My girlfriend has one as well. And I specifically chose a different type of finish for mine to compare them. Unfortunately, I cannot show it to you. Well, I might be able to, to get some B-roll of that, but basically the, the cover is a bit different, but the paper inside it's the same and the reason why is that Sal Digital offers different types of paper. They offer photography gloss paper. I think they offer gloss digital paper and the third type of paper, which is the one I personally chose, and I'm going to explain why, why in a second, is the coated matte digital printing paper. This paper has the advantage of being specifically designed for digital printing and also is a coated matte paper type of paper. This means that it's still not fully matte as your normal paper. It has a coating which gives it a soft reflective type. I would say even like, like, like almost a satin finish to it, but it's not completely gloss, meaning that if you want to look at your photos outside, you can do it. Just to give you reference, um, uh, as I worked on that company that was mentioned before, I used to print quite a lot <laughs> of pictures of mine, okay? And I have two awful lights pointing at me right now to actually shoot this video, and I can hold this up, and you can, you know, you can see the photo. Of course, if I, of course, if I, you know, um, do this, you can see the reflections, but as you can see, they are quite soft. Of course, if I angle this, angle it towards the camera, you can see it. But this is more or less the same exact type of paper that is in the book. And definitely the quality of the paper is stunning, okay, it's top quality. So the, all the photos turned out incredibly great. The huge difference between my photos and my girlfriend's is that I like a ton of grain in my photos, while my girlfriend prefers a more digital effect. This means that you can see the grain, but this is a plus for if you can see the grain, it means that the detail of the photo, the detail of the printing is very high. And this to me justifies the prices. So the way this book is presented is quite pleasing in terms of visual, okay? You can choose between having, you know, a plain cover or an acrylic one, which costs you a bit more, but not that much. And that gives you this glass effect on top of the book and this to me completely changes the, appear the appearance of this book and makes it quite pleasing to have you know displayed in your house it's not just your normal photo album which looks like pretty much um, a notebook the rest of the book is sort of dark wood and I like it quite a lot my girlfriend went for I think black leather and I like it quite a lot too but I think, given the subject that I have on my cover, the black wood fits way better. In general, I wouldn't say I found problems with the book. Uh, and the, the way it's put together is quite uh, top quality. The printing is incredibly stunning. 
and overall I'm completely satisfied with it. Uh, I would definitely recommend this and for now I don't have any more photos that I would like to print. I mean, I have a... <laughs> I was going to curse. I have quite a lot of them already printed in a big format and most of them that I printed in, the, in this book um, I think I have 26 or 28 photos in there which I know doesn't sound like a lot but if you think about it finding 28 photos in your collection which you think are worth printing it's not that, that easy I mean I've been doing photography in a serious way for the last three years so the amount of photos you can shoot plus considering the one full year was spent during covid so you know stuck at home and the other thing that i could shoot were the basically the plants outside which actually printed though i think yeah i printed my, the plants on my terrace as you can see but <laughs> this didn't went into the book fortunately my passion is definitely for people. I love street photography, I love shooting people. YouTube, uh, I love taking photography of people. Not shooting, okay? Shooting photos of people. Thank you, algorithm. I'm completely satisfied with the book. The only minor problem, uh, but I think it's due more to shipping, is that one angle of the acrylic cover is slightly chipped. Unfortunately, I don't think I have a video of the unboxing. If I do, uh, I'll try to find it and, and, and place it here, possibly it's an Instagram story. So it, it, it was well packed, don't, don't get me wrong. It was all implorable, plus cardboard all around it. So I think it was only misfortune here. My girlfriend's book arrived in perfect conditions, no chips at all. So yeah, I think that's just a minor thing. But since this is an honest review, I want to be fully transparent and this is the only thing that, you know, um, I notice in terms of quality. In terms of price, given the quality and having worked on a digital printing company, I know how much it costs, uh, even only to, you know, pass through all the photos and check if everything is fine, it's working fine for. The way you design this book, South Digital offers you a software in which you can basically compose the book. It has completely freehand mode or basically guided mode or fully automated one, the three modes basically. I went for the um, the midway basically. Um, I want to customize the layout but I didn't want to go all freehand for, as you will see, I did a couple of things in there so you know, make it more interesting. Uh, also because, you know, I had quite a few photos to, to display so uh, a couple of them went uh, on two pages instead of one, but I think they, they look quite good. I hope that the B-roll will, will give justice to the quality. And, but even though you can, you know, you, you design your book in, in the software and you basically export a PDF that gets sent to Solar Digital, still they have to go through it, the PDF and check if everything works. If there are photos that are highly underexposed or overexposed, chances are they're going to modify them for they want quality and it's all my, I think there's even a disclaimer that says that in the when you go to purchase okay it says that they they are allowed to slightly touch the retouch the image if they think the result won't be good and I can assure you the result can be quite disturbing if you don't mind that for example I have a photo here that for example I have this photo here okay this is a stunning photo that my girlfriend took uh, while in Portugal. Unfortunately, uh, when we went to print it, we didn't account for the fact that the photo will, will be quite darker when you print it compared to what you see on screen for you are passing from for your passing from the screen, which is shining light to a piece of paper which is a reflecting light, it's not generating light on itself, so it will be first of all darker. We then reprinted and the final result was stunning but this one I kept it for I think it's it's nice to have an example for this type of things. With that said, Sal Digital also offers you ICC profiles that you can download and install in your Photoshop so that you can preview the photo exact 
exactly more or less exactly like it will be printed of course if your monitor is not calibrated and it's not color accurate the result won't be perfect but still it will be better than having nothing okay i will leave links in the description for both the download of the software and the tutorials from Sal Digital to actually use the software, export the, the product and use the ICC profiles. Mind the Sal Digital doesn't only do these photo albums, they also print on canvas for example, they print single photos, they print on mice, basically whatever is digital printing, they do it. And as far as I can tell, the quality is stunning, so I would highly, highly recommend this company. So, so Digital, thank you so much for sending me this book for free. I appreciate it incredibly, and I will definitely, I will definitely purchase more in the future as soon as I have more photos to put down for having them printed, having the possibility to, you know, go back and watch them every now and then. It's something that, for once, is incredibly pleasing. Second, it gives you that energy, you know, when you maybe you're a bit down and you I don't want to shoot anymore or I don't feel like shooting. Then you watch that photo and you think, okay, if I hadn't gone out that day with my camera with me, I wouldn't have this photo that now is printed, that now looks stunning. So, even if you don't want to spend that much for a book, you might want to consider to just print a single photo. And see how it looks, see how it goes. Again, I would highly recommend you to use the coated matte digital printing paper. That's to me the one that gives you the best results, both in terms of quality and usability. So with that out of the way, it's time to close this video, which is incredibly longer than I intended. Sorry about that. But as always, links in the description for my Instagram page and my Fiverr page. Remember, I'm a full-time editor and colorist, so if you want to work with me, just hit me with a message, you know, either on Instagram on, or on my email. Until next time, until a new video, please take care, be safe, and bye-bye. Mamma mia!